Hola, damas y caballeros. Señor Arroz here. So, um, anybody out there a football fan? And when I mean football, I'm talking about American style football, el fútbol americano. Okay, so if you are or you've been around other football fans, you've probably seen, you've probably heard somebody say, let them play. You've probably been in the room with other play, uh, other fans who have talked to their TV and shouted, let them play. Okay, so let them play means it's a statement to the referees. In other words, basically saying, don't over referee. And what that means specifically is don't, don't call out every single little infraction. You know why? Because on every single play in football, especially holding, guess what? Have you ever seen the instant replay? Have you ever seen the uh, slow motion footage? There is holding on every single play. There are little infractions of some sort or another on every single play. If you call out every little infraction, then there's going to be a penalty on every play. There's, there's basically like not going to be a game. Okay? You have to discriminate. You have to pick and choose. Is the infraction that I'm about to call, is it absolutely critical to the play that just happened and what happened in that play? Okay, so that's what I mean by let them play. Now, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are educators, transfer that concept, that analogy, transfer it over to teaching. And guys, this is what I'm talking about in this particular video. It's the let them play mindset when it comes to discipline in the classroom. Now, let me get into how I operate. I operate on the let them play mindset, which simply means I don't call out every teeny tiny infraction. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That does not mean I let them get, get away with murder. Okay, if there's something big that happens, if there's something really egregious, if somebody throws a punch, if somebody shouts out an obscenity, if somebody is bullying or being racist or pulls out or pulls somebody's hair, if somebody stands up in the middle of the class and just leaves, if, you know, there are some basic building blocks that we can all pretty much agree on. But I want to encourage you teachers at any level, including the university level, pick and choose what you really want to call out. Um, is there talking going on during class? There is almost always one or two little whispers here and there. And I, I have known teachers over the years who will call out every teeny tiny infraction, including ones like these. Okay, so that teacher is teaching a class, has everybody's attention, and one student turns to the other and asks to borrow a pencil, asks for a piece of paper. In my opinion, not worth it. Is, does that constitute, does that technically constitute an infraction? Yeah, I suppose it does. It's talking when you're not supposed to for one moment. But is that really destroying the lesson? Is it really severely limiting someone else's ability to learn or listen or, you know, anything else? And if it is, is it really damaging for more than one or two seconds? Is it worth calling out and making a big deal out of? In my opinion, no. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm getting at. Um, when I talk about let them play, if you call out every last little thing, sure, you as an educator, you have the right to. But you are going to drive yourself crazy. You're going to basically tell yourself that your kids, your students at any level, are not behaved. Um, 
you're just going to end every class, every period. You're just going to be exhausted, I think, at the end of every day. If your day concludes, every one of your days concludes with you having called out, you know, quite literally over a hundred infractions. And also consider what it does to the relationship with you and your students. Um, it's okay to have a reputation for being strict, but I don't think it's a good thing. If you become known as the teacher who busts students for blinking, yeah, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I think you know what I'm getting at. For whispering one thing, for asking uh, the, uh, another student something else, for if you're ready to bust students for breathing, for blinking, I don't think that's a good reputation. And you're going to have students who come to your class on edge, lots of anxiety, thinking that it's them versus you. And I just believe that you may succeed in controlling your class through fear and intimidation, but in the long run, you're not going to get great results. There's going to be resentment. And do you really want your students to learn well, learn with a smile, really absorb information and provide their best work? Fear and intimidation, I don't think. Uh, is the way to go. So uh, once again, if I, if I hear just a little whisper, I usually don't pounce on it. If a student asks somebody else for a piece of paper, I definitely don't pounce on it. If there's a tiny bit of little chit chat, I may gently call it out, but for the most part, I, I discriminate, I pick and choose what's worth getting upset about, what's make, worth making a big deal about. Um, I'm even willing to say that if I have students, for example, doing group work, they're working in groups, That you know what that means, the whole room is basically going to be talking. If I'm walking around the room making sure everybody's doing their work, if I hear students in a really like low volume private conversation, even if I hear a couple of four letter words in their very private conversation, nobody else is hearing it. I'll be honest with you. I don't bust them for that. I don't. Now, maybe that's controversial, but they're having a low level, low sound conversation and nobody else is really hearing it. Uh, the point being, guys, I pick and choose my battles. I pick and choose what I want to make a big deal out of, what I want to bust, and at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the school year, I go home a sane person. So that's it, guys. That's what I'm getting at. It's the let them play mindset. Uh, over years of experience, that's what I've learned, is to let them play. That, once again, that doesn't mean let them get, get away with murder. Of course not. Uh, and it doesn't mean let them get away with. Get away with. That's Maybe that's the wrong phrase. It doesn't mean get let them get away with things. It just means... Don't call out every tiny little infraction, every little human moment. Because if I do, I'm going to drive myself crazy. I'm probably going to drive the students crazy. And nobody in the room is going to get very good results. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's been today's video. Please let me know what you think about it. If you have any thoughts to improve this philosophy or you... Uh, just have anything else productive to say about it. I would love to hear what you think. So until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, gracias por escuchar, gracias por mirar. He dicho.